Hello and welcome to Indian News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratna. The news in detail. Now, Pur district continues to report less fresh cases of COVID-19 as compared to recovered cases. On October 30, the city registered 294 new COVID cases, with this detail it reaches to 95,193. Meanwhile, 381 patients became free of the virus, taking the total number of recoveries to 87,614, including 46,487 home isolation recoveries. After today's data, the recovery rate now stands at 92.07%. With seven people succumbing to the infection in the day, the death toll has now reached to 3,117. From the total deaths, 2,140 are reported from the city and. 565 from rural and rest 412 are from out of Nagpur an official release said after the fresh update a total of 4436 patients are active in the city out of friday the seven fatality cases three were from the city while four persons hail from the rural areas of the district setting an example for others nagpur district collector ravind thakre donated plasma at a gmch recently he appealed to the people who recovered from covid-19 to come forward and donate plasma to strengthen the fight against the pandemic and offer relief to patients the district collector had tested positive for covid-19 last month now he has recovered completely the plasma bank platinum project is being implemented in the state with some of the chief ministers relief fund there are 21 plasma banks in the state under this state project So far, 1,480 plasma bags have been collected in Maharashtra. So far, 1,480 plasma bags have been collected in Maharashtra, of which 690 have been administered to critical patients of COVID-19. Dr. Sajal Mitra, Dean of the Government Medical College and Hospital, Dr. Vinash Gawande, Dr. Muhammad Fazal, State Nodal Officer of Plasma Bank Platina Project, Dr. Sanjeev Parade, in charge of blood bank, were present when Thakre donated plasma. An investment ensures one's long-term financial security. However, imagine if you have invested in a property trusting the builder only to know that the construction was unauthorized. This worry some scenario is being faced by the property owner in Mihan as many of the buildings there have been found to be violating DGCA norms. The concern of officials of the administration whose duty is to safeguard common people's interest are not disclosing the name of the builders accused of violating the norms however those who have already invested their hard earned money are now in a state of dilemma the move of avoiding the disclosure of the names of structures and the builders concerned could invite more investors to fall prey to this dubious investment as people are being advised to fully verify details of the concern facts if we are going for any investment in mihan or its vicinity The incident of damaging of vehicles in the wee hours of Thursday left the residents of Ajni Nagar and Belterodi areas terrified. The vehicles owner suffered immense losses. One of the accused, Chirag Thulkar, had organized the birthday party of their common friend, Vicky Malviya, in Ujjwal Nagar. After the party, the accused consumed liquor and after traveling a certain distance to the city, they stopped in front of an house in Nagar Nagar. One of the two pillion riders got down. and tossed a Ford Figo car belonging to Samir Raut after pouring petrol on it. The miscreants also smashed the windshields and windows panes of 11 other cars parked in the vicinity. After assessing the CCTV camera's footage, cops managed to identify and eventually arrest the accused. The arrests were made by a team of Belgorodi police personnel by PSI Vikas Mankia. Eid Miladun Nabi was celebrated across the city with great religious fervor and enthusiasm. The mosque and the city were brightly illuminated and celebrated the occasion. This festival, which is mainly celebrated as the birth anniversary of Prophet Muhammad, falls under the third month of Muslim lunar calendar. The occasion commenced on Thursday evening and ended on Friday. On this occasion, Muslim brethren greeted each other Miladun Nabi Mubarak and celebrated the day with light and decoration and festivities. Muslim brothers observed Eid e Milad un Nabi and remains Prophet Muhammad's teaching on the pious day. They also held prayer and sent Milad un Nabi greetings to friends, family and relatives on various social media platforms. COVID-19 induced restrictions were observed during the festivities. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with MBC News. Till then, Ratnakar says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family.